So I've been working on this console for the Scorpion Crawler project and I wasn't planning on making a video on making it but uh, it's turning out really well better than I thought so I figured I would uh, show you just how I went about making this I still have a couple pieces left and that is the box where you put your arm and uh, let's show you So even with minimal tools, you could make something like that. It helps to have a plasma cutter, but even without one, you could figure it out. So the first thing I did was I went about measuring. And I used the original console, and I just um, also used some of the measurements from just sitting in there, kind of figuring out where I wanted things to go. And this is the pattern I came up with. I just wrote it down. Uh, kind of as a top overview and kind of kept in mind how things were going to fold as I folded it up. So the next thing I did was to take a piece of, uh, what is this called, mat board, foam board, and I transferred my measurements here you can actually see that's here 13, 13, 13, 7 wide, and 13 down. And I transferred that onto some foam board, foam core board, and then cut that out. Once I did that, I put it in place, and the, the tedious part was getting the curves to match and everything. So I just kept shaving down, shaving down, marking with a marker until I got it exactly to match the contours of the uh, transmission tunnel. So after I did that, I uh, cut it back open and laid it down on a piece of sheet metal. This is, I think, 18 gauge. And I traced it out. Now I did keep in mind some places that I wanted to do tabs for uh, securing it to the tunnel. and. At first I started out doing tabs for the folded pieces. When they would fold, I would have a little tab, but actually that that uh, turned out to be worse. Um, so I got rid of those little tabs and I'm just gonna weld the seams when it's all said and done. So now we're at this step. We've got the sheet metal, we need to cut it out. Alright, so I've got the straight sections cut. Now on these curvy parts, what I've learned to do is to cut it outside the line and then I will come back with the angle grinder with flat disc on it and trim it exactly to that line. Because with the handheld plasma torch you're going to mess up. So let's do this. Alright, so now that we're close to that line, I can just take my flap disc. Basically that's just a grinding wheel with uh, made out of sandpaper. It's got these sandpaper flaps on it. We'll shave that down right up to the line. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll get back with you.
All right, it's all cut. I smoothed it out. Now let's make some lines where I need to fold it. It's gonna be pretty simple on this one. And depending on what you're folding, you really need to think about uh, how you're gonna fold it. Because once you get one piece folded, you might not be able to fold another piece. Okay, now we're ready to fold. Since we're making a box, that last bend is gonna be pretty difficult, but I've decided I'm gonna do these two sides first, and then that last piece will be the shortest piece. Um, the first thing I like to do, since my table is kind of rounded on the edge, and I also, uh, sometimes there's little pieces there that kind of get there from the welder. I'm gonna take this flat bar. It's got a nice hard edge to it. I'm gonna lay that down on the edge, or over the edge of the table. Then I'm gonna put my sheet metal down. I'm gonna clear that by the edge by just about an eighth inch or so. Seems to be working pretty good for me. And then I'm gonna put another piece of flat bar on top of that. I can kinda leave that back off the edge a little bit. And then two clamps. One on this side and one on this side. Now we're good to bend. Now depending on what kind of bend you want, you can take a hammer or mallet or whatever and try to crease it. If you want it to be smooth, you don't do that. I do need it to be a little bit creased, so let me grab the hammer. I don't have any sheet metal tools, but uh, this dead blow seems to work pretty good. Move back on me a little bit. Just clamp it a little tighter. Okay, that's pretty good. That's about 90 degrees. Let's do the other sides. So for this side, it's just the opposite. I'm gonna lay this a little back from the edge because I'm trying to get these two points to line up when I go to weld them together. So I'm gonna go back about an eighth inch. Lay this flat bar here. And because of the way that sticks out, I either need a longer flat bar or a special clamp. All right, let's give that a shot. So that last edge here is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. But here's what I've done. I've taken that flat bar, have it coming out of the table. I can lay it like this. Basically all I need to do is get it started and then I'll be able to finish it by hand. So right about there. Let's see if we can make that first bend. Maybe not, maybe not. All right, let's try this. I've got it upside down and I just need to bend it up now instead. Let's give that a shot. I think that's gonna work. I just need to crease it with the hammer. Okay.
And once I squeeze that together, weld it shut, that'll be perfect. that out. Well, still not done yet, but I think you get the idea. Basically what I'm going to do next is cut a hole in the top here and then I'll make a, a hinged cover and I'm going to match it to the seats. I'll make it out of vinyl with a little pad or something on top of there. And obviously I, I need to drill some holes for the tabs so that I can bolt it down and whatnot. But uh, that's the basic idea. So the front part of the console was a little more complicated with some more bends and some cutouts that I had to make for the shifters and whatnot. But pretty much the same concept and the dash was the same way. I started out with just a flat piece, made a, a piece that pops out here for the switches and I beveled it in on the edges so that uh, you wouldn't whack your knees or whatever on it. But. Uh, I hope you learned something there, and I hope you you can kind of take that and use it for something. Maybe it might be, uh, you know, something not even automotive related, but you can probably use it for something around the house. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Do subscribe. And if you enjoy our videos enough to support us, check out the Patreon page at, at uh, patreon.com slash bleepinjeep. We'll see you next time.